How you doing guys? My name is Fergal Howard from Alba Physiotherapy. So we're just following up um, with our goal setting and our running technique with our ideal walking technique. Um, so if anyone has come from uh, recent an ankle injuries, knee sprains, uh, hip injuries, you know, if someone has come from a knee replacement or a hip replacement and we want to get back in that little bit more, following these few tips can really help to to reduce any compensations that might develop uh, and ideally trying to get the muscles working in the right way uh, to assist with you know, keeping us more active. So there's a few little tips that we can follow uh, to try and make sure that we're walking in the right way. First thing is that we want to land with our heels, so squarely on the heel as we're walking through that movement. Second thing that we want to follow is that as we land on the heel, we also want to make sure that the knee is in a straight line. So lock that knee up straight. Often what happens is if even if we land with an, our heel, we often bend too much in the knee. And then that can lead to too much stress building up in through the knee and again too much stress building up in the hip. So those two movements, landing with the heel strike and landing with the straight knee. As we transition then to mid stance, so allowing the weight to come over onto the ball of the foot, we should allow the hip to come forward. The hip to come forward, having the hip in line with the knee and the ankle. So that will really helps to redistribute the stress very evenly throughout the rest of the body. As we go through that movement, so we're going through the, the stance phase, heel strike mid stance, and then finally going to our toe off. So allowing our toes, our big toe to push off, allowing ourselves to propel ourselves forward from that position. So we also need a little bit of core activation to really sustain uh, and get our muscles working really well throughout our, our hips. So just by pulling in our belly buttons ever so slightly uh, and maintaining that contraction will also help us to, uh, to use our milk muscles really efficiently. Our final little tip is to make sure that we have a small little bit of arm sway. So the arms should mirror the movements of the opposite legs that we have reciprocal movement patterns. And this can really help with maintaining a good level of balance and a good rhythm so that we can sustain that over long periods of time. So those are a few, few good tips to sort of get ourselves walking back into gear, can maintain a good level of activity and really just help us get our fitness levels back up if we haven't been walking for a while. So if you want to have any more information on our walking or if you want to sort of follow up with that, feel free to get in touch with us here at Alba Physiotherapy and I'd be glad to talk to anyone about that. Thanks very much guys and good luck to putting that into practice.